Shalom. Our praises go to the Most High Yahweh. Basha 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 Marahwa. That's the Balan and Santa Elder Paul is a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the Sasya Akim across the world. Shalom. Now this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter nine, titled The Golden Calf, right? First one. Hear, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day, to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself. So clearly they was greater and mightier than us. But through the power of Yahweh Basham Yahashai, we could overtake them. Cities great and fenced up to heaven. Right? I have a few examples of that. As you can see here. Well, I have... Uh, uh, in one of my other videos, I showed you that plants, certain type of plants, used to be like... <laughs> like 30 meters long. I don't know how you do that in feet. But you can Google it. And then you have here a cow, as you can see here. A cow being held like a dog. And here you have normal Hamites, Mizraimites, holding a cow. And they're just our height. And here you can see clearly giants. Here you can see a giant tomb that they found. And you can clearly off of yourself know that machinery could not come into this tomb. It can't. You can't. You can't have machineries that can lift these type of things in these tight tombs. So it must have been people that lifted it up. And it must have been very strong people, by the way. Here you can see a bazin, a bazin, which is that thing that you, for example, when you brush your teeth, that's a bazin, bazin, B-A-S-I-N, bazin. Here, of course, you have a female, but the monkey is sitting down, and then the Ishmaelite, the Arab, He's sitting down, but anyway, they put a female, but this is a small female, by the way. But you know that they glorify females. That's why they always name their top female, they call her Eve, you know. And here's the same buzzin. As you can see, how small this person is compared to how big this person is. And then he uses the same buzzin to wash his hands and do all type of things up in here, you know, stuff like that. This is buzzin. Here you have giraffes on the hieroglyphs that are this size, and now you have people that are this size. But people like this used to be there also, and also people like this that hold this giraffe like a pet, like a dog on, on strings, how you hold a dog. This is the same, well not the same, I mean like an example. Now you might think this is far-fetched, a person that is this big, but just look at this height compared to this person over here. And then you look at this. Doesn't it look like, hey, wait a minute. It could be, it's possible. Because huh, 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 huh. when you look at these Edomites documentaries, you're going you're gonna to end up with more questions than you're going to end up with answers. But we, through the power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, we got the answers right here, right in front of you. Now it's up to you to believe it or not. As you can see here, this person is like, what, six feet? And this one is 36. And then you could just take the measurement and then measure this per it's a it's a person here and it's not Photoshop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. So you could take this thing right here and you could measure it up to here and you ask yourself like, who would be this big to make an entrance like this? And why would you do that? Especially in the time of those ages where you could be invaded. But Deuteronomy chapter nine is gonna show you that you can't invade these giants, man. <laughs> Everybody was afraid of them. Even the dinosaurs in those times were afraid of those people. That's also mentioned in the book of Exodus chapter 23. Where the animals of the land were afraid of the giants. And those animals were reptiles, bruh. Anyway, here you have a stone. You should ask yourself, how did it get here without machines? Mm, them giants was big and strong. Here you have another person. You know, here you have cities fenced up to heaven. Come on, man. Without machinery, how could you have moved these slabs? These are solid stone slabs, by the way. Here you have it again, but another angle. And uh, you have a person over here. Which is here. Here you have another slab. How is it moved without machinery? Here you have, well, this these are not cities, but these are tombs. Uh, cities, you could say, actually. Uh, Fenced up to heaven. Right. All these all these uh, buildings over here are as tall as these. 
they're just further in the background but they're tall as this one too so how much more is this taller compared to this like you know think about that you should let that sink in now another angle which you can see clearly that these 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 cities that you see here treasure cities which is mentioned in the book of exodus chapter one treasure cities that the slaves built and the slaves did not build all the pyramids man you know because these giants used to build these pyramids themselves along with the regular sizes um Mizraimites, you know uh, hamites then you have let me see what you have more. Oh, that, this is the last okay cool cat all right so it says here deuteronomy 9 and 1 here, O Israel, thou art to pass over Jordan this day to go in to possess nations greater and mightier than thyself, cities great and fenced up to heaven, as we just, uh, as I just showed you, a people tall, a people great and tall, the children of the Anakims. But in this case, it was like in the land of um, what I just showed you was Mizraim, and now I'm showing you the other brothers of these Hamites, which are Canaanites, Philistines, and stuff like that, whom thou knowest. And of whom thou hast heard say, who can stand before the children of Anak, right? Because if you think you're going to fight people like this, with an entrance to their door like this, and then you're this small, <laughs> you should think again. Understand therefore this day that Yahweh thy power is he which goeth over before thee. How did he also do that? In the time of Exodus... Which is the same, it's the same, uh, let me show you. Exodus 23, verse 20. Behold, I send my angel before thee. This angel was Shai, To keep thee in the way. You can read about that in the book of 1 Corinthians uh, 10 or something like that. Right. To keep thee in the way and to, to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. And he was also in the book of Exodus chapter 14. He was also in the book of Exodus 14. And he was also in the book of Daniel 3. When when the three was put into the fire and they didn't die. It was That was Shahawashai, Shai, by the way. And he is he, he, he again. And Exodus 14 also mentions him. And also when... Um, First Corinthians chapter 10, right? Read that. And you will see it was Yahweh Shai. And then also Exodus chapter 14, you will see it was Yahweh Shai. But only in First Corinthians chapter 10, you will read that it is Yahweh Shai. And I think in Daniel 3, you will also see that it was the Son of the Most High, which is Yahweh Shai. Was it Daniel 3 or was it Daniel 4? I think it was Daniel 3. Daniel 3. Where there was in the fee here son of man the son of god so they knew how the son of god looked but i don't want to get too much into that or else i'm going to make this video too long as usual so now this is the book of exodus chapter 23 verse 20 behold i send an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which i have prepared beware of him and obey his voice provoke him not for he will not pardon your transgressions for my name is in him so that's why when Ezra is, for example, in the book of uh, First Ezra, uh, Second Ezra, and yeah, First Ezra and Second Ezra is talking to the Heavenly Father, he's actually talking to the angel. Just like how Moses was talking to the Heavenly Father, he was actually talking to the angel through the angel to the Heavenly Father. Because the, the angel is, the word angel means messenger. So the Heavenly Father, basically it's a vessel. <laughs> kitty porn. It's some kitty porn, uh, cake monkey shit. We don't believe in that satanic bullshit, bro. Going on. Now it says here, the word angel means messenger. Micah was called an angel of the Lord. The prophet Micah. In the book of Apoc uh, Second Exodus 1 and 40. 1 and 40 here. Malachi, sorry, it wasn't Micah, it was Malachi. <laughs> Good that I looked it up. Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. He was called a messenger of the Lord. But not an angel as in like uh, um, extra. Um, you have 
terrestrial bodies and you have celestial bodies. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 40. There are also celestial bodies, which are angelic bodies, and bodies terrestrial, which are uh, earthly bodies. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. And what is celestial? It's heavenly. Yeah, heavenly. Belonging or relating to heaven, which are actual angelic bodies, which we're going to get, but here on earth. That's what they that's what coming for the Israelites. <laughs> Beware of him and obey his voice. But focus on oh, wait a minute. Twenty-two. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak through him. And also through Moses, by the way. Then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies, and an adversary unto thine adversaries. For mine angels shall go before thee. Woo! And bring thee in unto the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Parasites, and the Canaanites, and uh, sorry, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Yeah, sorry. And I will cut them off. Thou shalt not bow down to their gods, neither serve them, nor do after their works. But thou shalt utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And ye shall serve Yahweh your power, and he shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. There shall nothing cast their young, meaning our, the, the, the children of our animals wouldn't even die, nor be barren. They would always be uh, fertile. In thy land, the number of thy days I will fulfill. We would we would have been living to 120 years, as he promised us in the book of Genesis, uh, chapter six. But we didn't do that, so we we started to die early. Until we we started to die until like 70 years old and 80 years old, and you know. I will send my fear before thee, and I will destroy all the people who to whom thou shall come. <laughs> that don't seem like equality to me. And I will make all thine enemies turn their backs unto thee. And I will send hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivites, the Canaanites, and the Hittites from before thee. I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, lest the land become desolate, and the beasts of the, of the field multiply against thee. So, these beasts must have been so powerful that the Lord was like, you know what? I'm not going to kill these gigantic people yet. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kill them with my angel. And I'm also going to kill them with my hornets. But I'm going to kill them slowly for your sake. Why? Or else the beasts of the field will come and look at you little tiny people and devour you. <laughs> or try. <laughs> then I have to kill them too. But the Lord didn't do it like that. He did it a different way. He just killed them slowly. And, and, and then in the land, we started to multiply. So, of course, the fear of these animals started to be in them. Like, hey, it's too many of these people. <laughs> Let's not go. <laughs> you know? Because they're going to kill us. But if there was only a few of us, which it was in the beginning, we would die. So, you might, uh, you might start to ask yourself, like, what type of beasts were these type of beasts that only the giants can keep them away from uh, them. What type of beasts were they? <laughs> well, if you li listen to Esau, <laughs> you're not going to get that answer. But through the power of Yahweh Basham Yahashai, you know, his power, he give you wisdom, he give you understanding, he make you see things. You know, he give you a heart of, uh, you know, <laughs> he give you a heart of gold, you know, he can do that. He can make you understand, and it witches your mind. Your heart is your mind. And then you will know. But anyway, Deut Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 3. Understand therefore this day that Yahweh thy power is he which goeth over before thee. As a consuming fire, he shall destroy them. And he shall bring them down before thy face. How did he do it? He sent the angel to go kill him. If you read the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, you will see that. Well, he didn't send the angel there. I mean, sorry. 
and you wouldn't read about the angel there but I just read about it about the angel here in Exodus 23 so yeah he did it in uh, many different ways you see the Hittites the Canaanites the Hiphites Deuteronomy 7 shows you that as you can see here you know the Hittites the Gergesites the Amorites the Canaanites the Parasites the Hivites Jebusites seven nations greater and mighty in the Tao and we still killed them because the Lord was with us he sent hornets to go kill him he sent us to go kill him he sent the angel to go kill him he sent a lot of you know, things you know uh, yeah in the book of um, wisdom of Solomon I forget which chapter I think 17 I think it was 17 and 18 17 and 18 he sent Yahweh Shai the angel to go kill the Mizraimites which is not this the these are the Canaanites but Mizraim in Egypt this is in the land of Canaan by the way this is what what, what I'm reading right now is in the land of Canaan but in the land of um, um, in the time of Exodus he sent the angel to go and kill the people of Mizraim which are the Egyptians which I just showed you a few pictures of them he sent he sent the angel to go kill and that angel was Shahawashai also wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 thy word leap down from heaven that was Shahawashai and also the one that killed the firstborn in Egypt that was also Yahawashai <laughs> he is the real angel of death and he brings life also just like water water can bring life but it can bring death too fire can bring life but it can bring death too so you know that's the most high right a sword can bring deliverance and it can bring death also right um, let me see here as a consuming fire he shall destroy them and he shall bring them down before thy face so shalt thou drive them out and destroy them quickly but he didn't do it as quickly as uh, you would read here you know but he did do it quickly compared to every other nation that fought against the sons of Anak because everybody knows like you can't fight these people they, you, you can't they're, they're too big as Jehovah had said unto thee speak not thou in thine heart after that Jehovah thy power had cast them out from before thee saying for my righteousness Yahweh had brought me in to possess this land but for the wickedness of these nations the Yahweh doth drive them out from before thee because they was wicked if you want to read what if you want to know what they did read the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and also Leviticus chapter 20 then you will see what they was doing in the land it was like a little tiny Sodom and Gomorrah over there and the Lord allowed the Israelites to go and kill them not for thy righteousness or for the uprightness of thine heart doth thou go to possess their land but for the wickedness of these nations Yahweh thy power doth drive them out from before thee and that he and also and that he may perform the word which Yahweh swear unto thy fathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob this is also the reason Understand therefore that Jehovah thy power giveth thee not this good land to possess it for thy righteousness. For thou art stiff necked people, remember, and forget not how thou provokes Jehovah, for pro provokest Jehovah thy power to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt until ye came unto this place. Ye have been rebellious against Jehovah. Also in Horeb, you provoke Yahweh to wrath, so that Yahweh was angrily, sorry, angry with you to have destroyed you. When I was gone up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, Moses is talking here, even the tables of the covenant which Yahweh made with you as a nation, then I abode in the mount forty days and forty nights. I neither did eat bread nor drink water because the Heavenly Father he was providing him with all the energy that he need just like how the angels don't eat they don't have sex they don't drink water they don't need that they have infinite energy they don't need that if you read the book of Tobit in the book of in the Apocrypha you will see that the angel was eating but later on and later on in the chapters you will see that the angel made him the angel made him uh, he made him see a hologram <laughs> He can make you delusional, actually. 
He can make you think that you just saw something which you didn't see. He was just standing there chilling. And then you see yourself with him eating bread and drinking. He, he was, that wasn't real. So if somebody else was to see you, they would think you talking to yourself. Or the angel could mesmerize him also and make him also see what you're seeing. They can do that. They have that type of power. If you don't believe me, a devil can make you think that you're a girl and chop your tits off. Uh, no, 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 wait. Uh, chop your dick off. Or make you think you a dude and chop, your, and chop your tits off. That's what they can do. They, they're they powerful. They can make you think what they want you to think. If you snap the fuck out of it, you will see that he was crazy. Yeah, yeah. He was possessed. That's what you are. Verse 10. And Yahweh delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of Yahweh, which is a laser beam. I'll get into that later. And on them was written according to all the words which Yahweh spake with you in the mount out of the midst of the fire in the day of the assembly. And it came to pass at the end of the forty days and forty nights that Yahweh gave me two tables of stone, even the tables of the covenant. And Yahweh said unto me, Arise, get thee down quickly from hence. For thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They are quickly turned aside out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten image. And if you think about it right now, this is exactly what our people are doing. Think about it. Here we are, slave descendants. But what, what do our people look like? This this is what our people look like. Bunch of women. I was actually looking for this nigga. Guys like this. You know? Guys like this playing soccer. This this is what they look like. Meanwhile, these other nations they hate they hate the fuck they hate the they hate they hate us. And still you want to look like them. I mean, what does this represent? Uh, an Asian person? Does it represent... Um, it represents a Caucasian person, man. That's that's what it represents. You might say, like, they're black people in... Uh, let me see. Uh, which land was it again? I forgot the land. But, yeah, I was actually looking for this. You might be like, okay, the, okay. when you see this person, do you see your own race? Do you see yourself? A lot of people talking about, you African, right? You African, right? Do you see yourself when you see this, these people? Ethiopians, do you see yourself? I asked a lot of West African people, and I asked them, like, do you see yourself when you see them? No, you don't. You see Africans of another tribe, of another... Uh, lineage they, they they see it but they don't put the connection because they have a seal of the most high our people have a seal of the most high but not according to knowledge so they don't know what the hell is going on when they see people like this now you have certain people of ethiopia it, it, when you look at them they actually look like us like this guy for example you'll be like wait a minute you're one of us no he's not neither these these are very easy to see within this circle over here you can see like nah you ain't my people but when you look at him you'll be like uh i'm not sure what you are you know, some of them actually look like us. I'm not going to take that from them. But the people, uh, but like this, when you see this, do you see yourself? No, you don't. If you say you do, you're lying. You need to get your ass chopped up, up in pieces because you're lying. Eritrea. Now, when you see them, they're more closely actually looking like us like this. People of Eritrea. Shit, it's kind of foggy, so I'm not going to click on Instagram. I don't want to go on Instagram because I know that they have the power to actually do this on purpose. Because if I click on an other, let me see, if I click on this, then it will unblurry itself. But they program that thing to where you have to go on their website and therefore you have to log in and stuff like that. You know, they do that on purpose because they have that power. They have that technology. They can do that. I know what they're capable of doing. Well, I, I, I know a few things what, what they can do. I know a few things. But anyway, 
certain of the Eritrea people, they also look like us, but they look more like us than the Ethiopians do. Uh, yeah, I see a lot of Ethiopians over here. And when I see some people from Eritrea, I think I think they're from Syria. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I'm looking at you like, bro. But most of them are brown. Most of them are brown. You know, most of them are brown. But anyway, enough of this. Yeah, clearly you can see that this is not like you know when you look at them be like hmm I wouldn't see you as me him eh, it's kind of doubtfully you know anyway you have the Afar people yeah anyway most of them is just stuff like that let's go on now it says here <clears throat> 13 furthermore Yahweh spake unto me saying I have seen this people and behold it is a stiff necked people let me alone that I may destroy them and blot out their name from under heaven and I will make of thee a nation mightier and greater than they. The Lord wanted to kill us and make better people than us. So I turned and came down from the mount and the mount burned with fire and the two tables of, co of the covenant were in my two hands. And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against Yahweh, your power, and had made you a molten calf. And until this day, wait, wait, ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which Yahweh had commanded you. By the way, the reason why I showed this is to show you that here it is, we're slave descendants, right? We know that these other heathen nations hate us, right? And still you have... And still you have our people looking like them. That's how quick you changed. That's how quick you changed. All the rape, rob, murder had done nothing for you. You actually think you're beautiful. You, If you think this is beautiful, then you want to fuck ugly ass niggas on the... You know what? You know what? I ain't going to say nothing. Because you, I know the majority of y'all think this is beautiful and shit like that. But what you're actually saying is that when she's original, how the Heavenly Father created her... She's the most ugly fucking monkey on the planet Earth in your soul. That's what you're saying when you say this is beautiful. I ain't got nothing else to say against you. You know what I'm saying? Let your own, let, let your own thoughts, um, you know, check you out like that. Just, just, just ch check yourself with your own thoughts. Uh, let me see. Blonde, you have orange hair. What, 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 what was it? Uh, red hair or something? I've seen more red hair, so orange hair, black females than I see actual ginger uh, uh, Edomite females. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've seen more of y'all. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I ain't tripping, man. Just, just remember that you find if you find this beautiful, then. Then you find this ugly. Just, just, just be real with yourself, man. Like. <laughs> You don't need to you need to get angry or something like that. You know, just just know what you find beautiful. Just know. But it's your it's your it's your choice. It's yours. But anyway, let's go on. That's how quick our people change. From rape rob murder to looking like the one that rape rob murdered you. So this is not far fetched that our people just switch like a, <laughs> a bunch of cheap hookers. But anyway. Seventeen. Oh yeah. Now you have here the golden calf, which our people used to worship. It's not these cave monkeys, by the way. These are Edomites. But then you have the golden calf, Chodokalf, which is a, let me see, which is a uh, Sweet Dreams event. Uh, da, 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 da. Golden calf here. Dutch Academy for Film. In the USA, the America, he's, the Americas, you have a uh, Oscar, a golden Oscar, which goes back to Egypt again. Golden Oscar. Gold, go, Golden Oscar goes back to Egypt. Oscar, Osiris, Path. is the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. So, and what is the golden calf? The same thing that was in Egypt, as you can see here. 18? Leviticus 18 and 3. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, 
ye shall ye not do. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I bring you, ye shall ye not do. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Right, this is what our people did from verse 5 until verse... Well, you can read the whole chapter, but until verse... Let me see. Here. This, until verse 23. These were the things that the people in the land were doing. And that's why the Lord said, go kill them. Right, so this is what they have in America. This is what they have in the Netherlands. When you are an Oscar winner, you get a golden calf. Film festival, as you can see. And then you have here in India, they worship the holy cow. That's why in, uh, in uh, America, when they were shocked, they used to say, holy cow! You know, stuff like that. Because it comes from the golden calf. Which is, until this day, they still worship this, these calves that look like, uh, look like a bride or something. Like, let me see. Look like a fucking bride about to get married or some dumb shit, you know? So, yeah. Well, they look the same, as you can see here. You know? <laughs> Probably look hella sexy to a to a coolie person. You know, to an East Indian. It look like this cow is about to get married or some shit like that. Yeah, right, you can see here, like, wow. Decked out crazy shit. Kyle probably asking himself, like, what do you do to me? <laughs> Let me go on. Right. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse. Hmm. No, wait. I'll get to that later. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Deuteronomy, chapter 9, verse 10. And Yahweh delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of Yahweh. So, how was that? How was that done? Habakkuk chapter 1, 3, 3, 3, verse 1. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shiga, Shigio, Shigioloth, Shigioloth. O Yahweh, I have heard thy speech, I was afraid. O Yahweh, re re revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Because, you know, make known the works in the years, through the years. And he's doing it because year by year, uh, our people are waking up. And in wrath, remember mercy on, onto the, the, the vessels of Jacob that try and do good. But are not that perfect, but are trying to be perfect. So remember mercy. Uh, especially in the time of Jacob's trouble. Yahweh came from Teman. And the Holy One from Mount Paran, which is the same. He's the Holy One. Later on, the Holy One is Yahweh Shai, but the Holy One is Yahweh. His glory covered, covered the heavens, that's the chariots, and the earth was full of His praise, and His brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of His hand, and there was the hiding of His power. There was the hiding of His power. So what are the horns coming up out of His hand? Habakkuk 3 and 3, 3 and 4. Hear horns. Hebrew seventy one sixty one. Hebrew seventy one sixty one. Horn. Representative figuratively its strength. Flask. That's in the time of. Um, no no no. Flask is uh, man made and horn is uh, animal heavenly father made. Horn musical instrument. Horn. Da, 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 da. Rays of light. What shoots rays of light? What shoots shoots rays of light? Well, here, UFOs. As you can see here, Rob, I'll put all these links in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. Jacobs was in the 1369th Photo Squadron at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. He was in charge of photo optical. Vandenberg. Vandenberg means in a, of, of the mountain. Vandenberg. Van der Berg is actually a Dutch word which means of the mountain. Um, from the mountain, as you can see, Van der Berg. So that's the place where that thing happened. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself or listen to it for yourself without me talking to it.
electrical instrumentation at a tracking site in Big Sur, 124 miles away. His mission was to film an Atlas rocket go through all three stages of powered flight. This particular mission was part of the Nike Zeus objective for the development of an anti-missile missile during the height of the Cold War. All cameras rolled as they heard okay, the okay. power. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play all that. You know what I'm saying I'm just playing right here. Okay, check it out for yourself. 180 inch lenses on it. Got it. And sure enough, we could see all three stages of powered flight as they burned out and dropped away. And then, of course, to our naked eye, all we saw was a smoke trail going off into subspace. To the naked eye, they thought it was just some kind of thing going off in the soft space going on. So we whoopied and shouted and threw the film wrap off in the in the, the, the BU telescope. Hey, wait. Right. And figured, well, that was our first big deal. We got it. Lieutenant Jacobs then took the cans of film down to Vandenberg to have them developed that night. The following morning, Jacobs would up to and turn the whole frame like so this thing fires a beam of according to Jacobs. Okay. At this stage, the rocket was traveling between 11 and 14. So they went back because with the naked eye, they didn't see it. But then they came back and they started to analyze the film, what happened, and they put the radar type screen and then they saw something else, right? Thousand miles per hour when a saucer-shaped craft entered the frame. Check it out. It flew into the frame like this, and it shot a beam of light at the warhead. Laser! Where do you think they got that from in the, in the cartoons? Where do you think they got that from? Let me go on. Now, remember, all this stuff is flying at several thousand miles an hour. Several thousand miles an hour. So this thing fires a beam of light at the warhead, hits it, fires another beam of light, and then flies out the way it came in. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave that thing for you in the description box so you can check it out for yourself and replay it as many times as you feel like. And I think it's here. Here, another one. The dummy warhead. According to Jacobs, at this stage, the rocket was traveling between 11 and 14,000 miles per hour. I think this is the same. thing fires a beam of... It flew into the frame like this. Yeah, that's the same thing, whatever. That's the same thing, whatever. Then I will put... This one. Well, I'll put everything, everything. I'll put, I'll put everything in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. But the point, oh yeah, here is what I'm looking for. On yeah. the camera, on the, the, the projector, and the film came on. Uh, the, 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 this chat in the same direction. This shot a, a beam of light at the warhead, flew up to the top, shot another beam of light at the warhead, flew around the direction Look. it was flying, shot another beam the of slow light motion. at the warhead, flew down, shoot another so it came in, a beam of light at the warhead, and flew and then the same way it came it in. It retracts the, by, the, 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 the beam. Why didn't you see this when you were shooting it? Well, it was uh, six to eight hundred miles away from us. Oh, I got you. This the they confiscated the conversation. Well, first of all, the, the Major Mansman said to me, what was that? Were you guys screwing around up there? I said, no, sir. <laughs> and he said, then tell me what that was. And I said, we got a UFO. Yep, 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 yep. Right. So now you know what the finger of the Heavenly Father is. It's a laser beam. And it's so perfect. It's like... Um, Homelander, he can actually concentrate the the laser beam of his eye. Homelander. Homelander, right? He can concentrate the beam of his eye and he can he can heat up milk. He can heat up milk here. Okay, nothing happened to it, right? So now, so now he can, this is the, the Heavenly Father can do this. <laughs> he can do this. They got this from the Heavenly Father. What are you talking about, Willis? They, they got this from the scriptures, man. Like, for real. <laughs> like, uh... I want to see him shoot somebody. Did shoot somebody? Are you kidding me? So is he is he is he killing people? Okay, here he blasted her head, but I'm not looking for that. Okay. 
he's cutting them up. Uh, everybody there is dead, by the way. Yeah, as she could see that, he showed the finger. But this was a uh, vision, no, no, like a thought in his head. I've seen it already, but... Well, I hope you get the picture, because this is from the series The Boys. And he was killing people with that laser beam, cutting them in half. <laughs> cutting people in half. This is not it. I know that scene. I think I, I think I saw this. You know what? You should watch this movie for yourself. The point is that he can kill you with it, but he can warm it up. He can actually make the beam softer or stronger. Because he could have easily hurt Moses when he was typing, uh, writing it with the finger of the Most High, the finger of God, which is that laser beam. And if you think that's far-fetched, it goes into rays of light. What is a ray of light? <laughs> that fire. That concentrated fire that I just showed you that this guy saw the the American scene scene you know in there they, they know they know what the hell's going on that's why they put it in them that's why they are able to put it in their movies because they know because that is the truth you know the truth sounds harder than fiction sounds crazier than fiction second Esther chapter 13 verse 1 and it came to pass after seven days I dreamed the dream by night and lo there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof and I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, which are the angels. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. So when the chariot looked at you, turned your way, just like when you have a car or a duff truck, right? If you have a duff truck, right, and that duff truck is heading toward you with the lights on bright, and you in the middle of the street, I think you're going to be kind of scared, bro. <laughs> you go, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> well, that's the same way that the people is going to be looking once the chariot turns their way with the lights on. Beam type, you know. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice. Like as the earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. Um... This is how the earth feel it. This is how the earth burns when it feel it the fire of the sun. <laughs> this what this is what happens to it. <laughs> yeah, and then it gets set on fire. That's how the people will look. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was a, there was gathered together a multitude of men, which is the, uh, the uh, battle of Armageddon. The mountain of troops, which is Armageddon out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came from this out of the sea which is space genesis chapter 1 shows you that space is water actually that's why you can that's why you can swim in space you can kind of swim you can float you're swimming actually just like underwater you're swimming but that's a that's a dense water liquid the one above the firmament is a is a different type of water it's cold and you can't you can't breathe same thing as water but I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, which was the spaceship, and flew upon it. That And that man was Yahweh Shai. But I would have seen the region. Uh, basically, the point is that, you know, I'll jump to 11. And there will all mix together. Wait, wait, first 10. No, 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 no. First 10. But only I saw he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath. 
and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests that's a laser beam and the laser beam comes with if you watch that movie no 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 that the these scenes man it comes with full force when he actually shoots people's and <laughs> they blast in smithereens man <laughs> that's that's the that that is actually what how shy is gonna come with believe it or not it's like a violent tempest it's like a tornado <laughs> it blasts cuts you you know burns cut blasts you 11 and they were all mixed together what the tempest the sparks the bl flaming breath the fire you know and it, the blast of fire the flaming breath and the great tempest which is wind and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight that's why i'm telling you go watch the boys and then check how homelander, homelander kills people with his blast <laughs> you're gonna see like these mother busters they know exactly they know exactly what that is they know exactly what that is they just they're not making stuff up man and they're not making stuff up they, they know exactly what what else going on and burned them up every one so that upon the multi a multitude of innumerable what, what, so that so so what so that upon a sudden of a innumerable multitude nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid and you can see that here when the when the ufos when the chariots things they were shooting people and then what happened to the people this happened poof they turned to dust poof poof yep that's how hard that laser beam will come it will fall with violence upon these people you know war of the worlds from this movie called war of the worlds but i mean it's 2005 or something like that yeah 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 2005 2005 war of the worlds you should watch that movie it's a good movie you will see how Esau gonna get his ass killed once that time comes you know and the blood that spilled that shall be spilled is the blood that they spilled starting with the native americans and uh, the uh, other tribes that were also there and also after that the european slaves and then the west african slaves came to america so they're gonna pay for all that the blood of the saints you know because they spilled our blood on that land so the lord will require their blood numbers 35 and 33 so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are for blood it defileth the land and the blood cannot be cleansed of the the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So if you murder people, your blood needs to be spilled in order to cancel it out. Esau has a thing. You, you don't do uh, correct uh, wrong with wrong. Or collect correct evil with evil, something like that. What did he say? Uh, he says you don't correct evil with evil or wrong with wrong. Yes, you do. You correct a wrong with a right so that you don't do it again devil but you know he's a liar so and he does deceive you so you will believe like no you don't do evil for evil but that's something else that's against your brother by the way but if a person murders you kill him that's it that's the good the foul not there for the land which ye shall inhabit wherein i dwell for i yahweh dwell among the children of israel so in that movie that I just showed you, War of the Worlds, you will see that their blood will be spilled upon the land. And that is symbolic for the blood of the Edomites that will be spilled because of the blood of the saints that they spilled. Revelation 16, 17, and 6. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints, which is America. She's that filthy whore that sat upon that beast, that scarlet whore, dressed in scarlet. And the blood of the of the martyrs of Yahweh which goes into witnesses of Yahweh And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. And that blood of the saints that she had, she gonna pay for it, by the way. So yeah, going back to over. Oh yeah, horn. Psalms 148 and 14 he also exalted the horn of his people the praise of all his saints even of the children of israel a people near unto him praise ye yahweh 
Born also represents power, so it's not always um, rays of light. Psalm seventy-seven, fifteen: Thou has with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Salah, the Lord will do that. Exodus four, sixteen: And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people. What? And he shall be thy spokesman, right? And he shall be even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of Yahweh. What? Why did I put that again? Yeah, that was wrong. <laughs> the math is so good. It's good. It's good. First King twenty two eleven, and Zedekiah the son of Hanan. Hena. Hena. Made him horns of iron, and he said, Thus saith Yahweh, with these. Thou shalt push the Syrians until thou have consumed them. Well, this is not a hundred percent, but it shows you that the horns of iron is something that you can use and it represents power. Deuteronomy 33 and 17, his glory is like the firstling of his bullocks and his horns are like the horns of a unicorn. So what is a unicorn? The Latin name for the Indian rhino is rhinoceros unicornis. This is a unicorn. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are what? And, and they are the tens, ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. Psalms fifty seven four. I said unto the fools, the light deal not foolishly, and to the wicked lift not up the horn, which is representative of power. First ten now from the same chapter fifty seven Psalm seventy five sorry. 75% all the horns of the wicked also will I cut off all the power of the wicked will I cut off but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted the power of the righteous shall be exalted which goes into here you have horn which also goes into strength figuratively fi figuratively figuratively Zechariah 1 21 then said I what came could come these to do and he spake saying these are the horns which have scattered Judah these are the powers which have fought against us and scattered us so that no man did lift up his head we were not proud anymore in those days after we got put into slavery and scattered but these are come to fray them to cast out the horns of the Gentiles right the power of the Gentiles shall be destroyed which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it they did that and they're going to get destroyed. These are more examples of horn. For example, Ezekiel 29, 21. In that day will I cause the horn of the people of, oh, sorry, of the house of Israel to bud forth. And what is that bud forth? Bud forth is a plant. Here. This is a bud. But when it bud, buds forth, it turns into a, here, to bud. The bud, and, the, and it bud, buds forth, it turns into a, a rose. Or a plant or a flower. Right. And I will give thee the opening of the mouth in the midst of them, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. Well, you can read the rest for yourself if you have the time, you can pause it. This goes into the veil of oil, which is uh, Samuel, the anointing of. Oh, wait a minute. The anointing of Saul. No, no, no. The anointing of King David. Is here with the horn which is an actual horn of a ram an animal and this is the veil that was made with the ham man's hand and this is this is inferior compared to the horn because no man laid his hand onto it no tool but here a tool has worked onto it the horn of salvation you know the strength of salvation the power of salvation Unto the house of David, King David. Exalt like the horn of a unicorn. Be, it's a very powerful. But anyway, yeah, these are just uh, verses that you can um, get use as precepts. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Right. Yeah, so go, that, that's the finger of God, by the way. I skipped it up by accident. I wasn't paying attention. Where was I? So it says here, Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 13. So they made molten images. Furthermore, Yahweh spake unto me, saying, I have seen this people, and behold, it's a step. Okay, okay. 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 Well, 
Right. Yeah, the Lord wanted to destroy us. Why it's going to end from the mountain? Deuteronomy nine and sixteen, and I and I looked, and behold, ye have sinned against Yahweh your power, and had made you a molten calf. Ye have turned aside quickly out of the way which Yahweh had commanded you. <laughs> you can see our females, their hair, and the men too. They just changed because they have not been taught who the enemies are. If you read the book of Judges chapter two and Judges chapter three. You will see that our people are stupid. They they really they, they want to love them. They want to love them. All our lovers will kill us. Lamentation chapter two. They they will fucking kill you. Once they get that power. Once they get that uh, opportunity, sorry. And I took the two tables and cast them out of thy out of my two hands and break them before my your eyes. And I fell down before Yahweh. As at the first, forty days or forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water because of all your sins which ye have sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of Yahweh to provoke him to anger for I was afraid of the anger and hot dis displeasure wherewith Yahweh was wroth against you to destroy you but Yahweh hearkened unto me at that time also because Moses didn't want us to be killed by the Lord and Yahweh was very angry with Aaron to have destroyed him and I prayed for Aaron also the same time <laughs> he wanted to kill him too <laughs> and I took your sin the calf which he had made and burned it with fire and stomped it and ground it very small even until it was as small as dust and I cast the dust theref thereof into the brook that descend out of the mount and then we had to drink it like color the gold and that the and by the way, color the silver is for the body is physical and color the gold is for mental. You can look that up if you want to. And at the tabera, and at no at, and at tabera and at masa, and at kibroth ha thava, ye provoked Yahweh to wrath once more. <laughs> Likewise, when Yahweh sent you from Kadesh Barnea saying go up and possess the land which I have given you then you rebelled against the commandment of Yahweh your power and ye believed him not nor hearkened to his voice yeah we, yeah, we, yeah, we did that <laughs> ye have been rebellious against Yahweh from the day that I knew you <laughs> man our people are stubborn that's why I don't talk to a lot of these Thus I fell down before Yahweh forty days and forty nights, as I fell down at the first, because Yahweh had said he would destroy you. I prayed therefore, I prayed therefore unto Yahweh and said, O Yahweh, power, destroy not thy people and thine inheritance, which thou hast redeemed through thy greatness, which thou hast brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Remember thy servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Look not unto the stubbornness of these people, nor to their wickedness, nor to their sin. <laughs> Man, lest the land whence thou bringest brothers us out say, because Yahweh was not able to bring them into the land which he promised them, and because he hated them, he had brought them out to slay them in the wilderness. Let that sink in. Because the Lord, he, 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 he could have killed us. And then he could have made better people of us. Better people instead of us, by the way. Not of us, I mean, instead of us. But he didn't do that. He could have. <laughs> Verse 29. Yet they are thy people, and thine inheritance, which thou broughtest out by thy mighty power, and by thy stretched out arm. Yeah, man, so uh, with that, man, that's it, Deuteronomy chapter 9. And so with that, I'm going to say Shalom, man. I'm going to put the links in the description box. So you can I'm going to put the links in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.